Man, it's the brother Derek here. We don't have no music playing. I'm showing you the difference between the black side of the Yondu and the white. The Yondu has two sides to it. It has a, a white gray side, which will give you something similar, uh, similar to this, but a little more contrast, but similar to this. Or you can use the black side. When I'm looking for a screen, I'm looking for something different. So tell me what's different across the room, up there, then right there. How does it differentiate itself from the white? This doesn't cost me anything. It's my white ceiling. Both projectors are laser. So there's no advantage. They both are on factory. Tell me. Do you see a difference between the black and the white? And is the black doing something that the white not doing. If you want to use your projector as a TV, you need this screen. Facts. If you want to use, because you're not, you're going to sit here and not have no black level. You're going to spend your time playing with the settings. And I'm going to give you a rundown. And some people might get a little attitude of what I'm about to say, but let's say that you want to go all terrain riding. You just want to go out there and just ride. You want to jump the sand dunes. You want to go out there. You want to ride through the jungles. You want to jump the tree stumps and all of that. And you save your money up. You work hard, right? And you get yourself a nice Jeep, right? And you ready to go out there. You figure out where you want to go. If you have to get a bulldozer and knock down everything in your route and smooth out the ground, your pathway, but before you go ride it in your new all-terrain Jeep, what did you buy the Jeep for? What did you spend all that money for? Because somebody in the Subaru can fall right behind you. Somebody in a 1975 Datsun can come follow right behind you. So I say to you, if you spend a lot of money on a projector or a lot of money on a screen and you get this, this is what you get. This is what you get. What do you spend the money for? Somebody can spend nothing and get this. I'd rather get that. I'm spending my money. For $40, you can do this. Use your projector as a TV. Or spend eighty dollars to $1,000 and still get this. I already had that for $40. Pure and simple. I already had this for $40. Why am I going to spend money for a brand new Jeep? To go out there and go over the tree stumps and everything. But I got to get a bulldozer and clear a smooth pathway. This is what you do when you buy a fancy projector and a fancy screen. You spend all that money. You spend all that money. And don't get what you ask for. You, you spend your time playing in the setting, trying to make it look right. Turning your lighting down so that you can get this. Something that you can do. What does the black side of the yarn do offer that the white can offer? Look with your own eyes. You get the exact same picture. Some scenes come up a little darker, but you get the exact same picture. But you get ambient light rejection. You get sunlight rejection. For those of you that think that it's not bright in here, I can turn. Look at the lighting hitting that screen. Look at the lighting hitting that screen. Can your screen take this hit? Can your screen take this hit, ladies and gentlemen? I'm asking you, can your screen take this hit? 
Can can your screen take this hit? We'll turn this off, ladies and gentlemen. What do you get? You have white or gray. This is what you're going to get. So if you use the white gray side of the yarn, do to some extent, this is what you're going to get, right? You use the black side of the yarn, do you get that? I think that says it all. But you get a choice. You can, you can do either one for $40. Either one. If you're going to use the black, I suggest your projector be at least 3,000 lumens. But other than that, you can pay money and do this and hide from the light and hide from the sun. Or you can get that. There's nothing up there, right? Let's turn it back on. Why the contrast ratio help with the black? Let's turn this laser back on. Look, look there. Look there. What would you rather have, Lady Joe? What would you rather have? You can have both with this screen. You can't lose. But you got people that want to make excuses. Well, you know, um, you know, he's sitting there um, um, talking about... Um, Talking about what? I'll give you the same example. If you want to go out there and you just want to go wild and just ride over anything you want to ride over. So you go get an all-terrain Jeep. And you go out there and you ready to run over the tree stumps and you ready to just jump the hills. And But before you go, you have to get a bulldozer and you have to clear a pathway. You literally have to make a road. That's the equivalent of sitting in the dark. Anyway, you know, if I sit in the dark, you know, I can pretend I see black, you know. Well, if I get a bulldozer and I bulldoze the pathway I'm going to go, it might take me a few weeks to do it, to clear it out, but I can make a pathway. Well, what did you spend the money on the Jeep for? The Jeep pose, pose to handle everything. You, you ain't supposed to worry about doing that. So if you get an expensive projector and they tell you, oh, it got a good black level, but the first thing you got to do is calibrate it. That's no different than you sitting there spending all that money buying a fancy Jeep to go out there and, and jump everything. But you got to get a bulldozer first and you got to clear it. You have to calibrate the path. What did you spend the money on a Jeep for? Because you sit there and spend all that money and all that time making a path. For you to go, you spend all that money and time clearing a path for you to go, right? You spend all that money and time clearing a path for you to go. Then what? What do you do then? Huh? What do you do? I'm asking. What do you do? What do you do? You spend all the time clearing the pathway. Somebody in a raggedy car can come behind you. Somebody in a raggedy car can just come behind you. So what did you spend all that money for? Why did you buy a fancy projector? And the first thing you got to do is calibrate it. That's no different. It is no different. You waste your money. Why waste your money? I'm asking you. Why waste your money? You are wasting your money. Can you use your projector as a TV? Yes, you can. First thing you need is this yarn dude screen. You need a projector. A laser is preferred. Of at least 3,000 lumens. 
ultra ultra short throw is better. Remember, ultra ultra short throws will hold to replace TVs. We use our projectors as TVs. We don't worry about lighting, whether it be sunlight or whether it be ambient light. We don't worry about it. We don't worry about calibrating. We don't have to. You can calibrate if you want, but it's a choice that you make. It's not mandatory. Just like you should be able to go ride through terrain like that with your all-terrain vehicle. You shouldn't have to clear a pathway. You shouldn't have to make a road. You should be able to, to go run through all of that. Just get in the Jeep and drive. You should be able to just get in the Jeep and drive. It shouldn't be an issue. You should be able to get in the Jeep and drive. If you got to make a big deal about doing it, then your screen and your projector is obsolete for what we want to do. If you want to sit in the room and play with your settings, knock yourself out. That's none of, that's none of my business. If you satisfied, to sit there. It's none of my business. It is none of my business, ladies and gentlemen. I ain't going to tell you to do nothing. But I will say to you that if you want to be able if you want to be able to use your projector as a TV. See, I got the best of both worlds. See, I got white on the ceiling. I got black on the wall. I got white on the ceiling and black on the wall. I got the best of both worlds. Which is why I'm qualified to tell you because I look at this. I run these laser projectors day and night. I'm so good. I'm so happy. That they don't require any maintenance. I ain't got to worry about them for the next two, two and a half years. I can run them 24-7. Not worry about no bugs bursting. And guess what? I paid $240 for that projection off eBay with shipping. $240. The Yondu screen costs $40. That's $280. Go on eBay, find you an Epson 725 laser. They also have the 710. But I've been able to use an Epson 485. I've been able to use an Epson 695. Go on eBay. Make a deal with the seller. Get you a good price. Or spend nothing. Yes, you use your play white sailing. Or paint your wall white and deal with that. If it got color in it, you good. If it has color in it, you're good. As long as you got color in the screen. Even under that lighting. If you got color in the screen, you good, right? Even if you got color in the screen, you're good, right? As long as you don't have a deep, dark background. But if you got a dark background, where's the black? Where's the black? 201,001 contrast ratio. Where's the black? I'm going to get a projector with a high contrast ratio. I had somebody else with screen paint on the wall. That projector has 2.5 million to one contrast ratio. It didn't look no better than it did on the 695 with a 14,001 contrast ratio. And a regular bug, it didn't look no better. 
This is the best screen out there. How do I know? Because I've tested screens. A lot of them. And like I said, if you find you don't like it, you're getting it off of Amazon. Amazon has an excellent return policy. The link will be in the title and the description. Keep looking at this and pretending that you see black. Keep worrying about having the lights on. Or get this screen and never worry about the lights again. Not worry about the sunlight. You can have your door open, have your blinds open, and still be able to see your screen. You can use your projector as a TV and not have and not have any worries about it washing out. But all this lighting. Why you would have 200 watts in the room, I have no idea. But it's nice to know you ain't got to worry about it. It's nice to know that you can be writing an essay, doing your homework. You're a teacher. You can be grading papers and you can still watch your projector. And unlike a TV, there ain't no glare. There's no glare. Nothing will reflect back. Nothing will reflect back. Can you do this? Where's the black? Where's the black? It's right there. Across the room. You got 200 watt bulbs beaming down. And you got 3,500 lumens coming from that projector. Shooting straight up into the camera to give us this. How are we getting this? It's shooting straight up. The projector is right there. See that box on the floor? Look on top of that box. There's, a, there's two more boxes. And you see the projector's propped up. It's aimed right at the camera. So what's hitting the camera? See? The white that you see on the screen? That white you see? That white you see is the camera picking it up. The screen isn't picking it up. See that white? That white that you see? The camera picking that up, not the screen. The camera's picking that up. If you don't have the screen, you're losing. Whether you use my link to buy it or not, doesn't matter. You need this screen if you want to use your projector as a TV. You need a projector like this for $280. For everything, 280 bucks. Why would you go spend $2,000 on a JVC projector that's still going to give you this? Why would you go spend $4,000 on a projector? Why would you spend $1,000 on a screen that's going to give you this? When you can do this. You can do this, ladies and gentlemen. You can do this. For 280 bucks. You give me a reason. Please let me know. Leave it in the comment section. While you would spend serious money. To use your projector as a TV. When you can do it for less than $300. Seriously. It'll take you. Five minutes to put this screen up. If you're going to use the black side, I suggest that you put tension on it. Stretch it out. As you thumb tacking it or double sided tabling it, make sure you're pulling it tight. That's all That's all you got to do. He would say, well, what do you mean? Well, you want to have the pores open so that the color and the whites can bleed through. That's it. Take you five minutes to put this up. You got two people, take even less. Takes me five minutes to put this up. And I'm disabled. Why can't you do it? But you'll sit there and uh, spend hours and days trying to calibrate. 
trying to calibrate to make it look like something. Just spent hours trying to calibrate. I'll show you one more demonstration and then I'll let y'all go. Appreciate y'all for hanging with me if you're still watching. I appreciate you. Oh, this is a name you won't show none of. You will not show one, will you? Mm-hmm. You will not show one, will you? Oh, that's even better. That's a tough one right there. This is really tough on white. This video is tough on the white. Where at the black hat? I ask the same question whenever I watch Screen Innovations or everybody else's video. First thing I say, where's your black level? Where's your black level at? I don't see no, you see any black up there? I don't see no, you see any black? Do you see any black? You use white or gray? Well, where's your black? It's up there. But I do you one better, ladies and gentlemen. Cause like I told you, look at that. I put my hand in the way and I blocked the light from the top. Look at that. Look at that, it's just my hand. Look at that. I'm blocking the light from the camera. Look at that. But even with the light hitting the camera, look at that ladies and gentlemen, look at that black level. Look at it. Let me put my hand away. See my hand right here? Take it away. Or bring it back. Take it away. Bring it back. Take it away. Do you not understand? But look at what you get. <clears throat> of course it's going to end on me. Of course it's going to end on me. But that's okay. Let's do it with the lights off. Turn the lights off. Lights are off. Okay. Well, I can sit in the dark. Or oh, where's the black hat? Where's the black? Where's the black hat? Where's the black? 200,000 one contrast ratio. Where's the black? Look up there. There's your black. Where's your black? Where's your black, ladies and gentlemen? Where's your black? Where's your black? Look down there. Where's your black? Isn't she pretty? She pretty up there too. Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty? Where's the black? Right there. That says it all, ladies and gentlemen. That says it all. Get the Yon D screen. Link will be in the description. Go on eBay, Facebook Marketplace. Go check your local pawn shops. Try to find yourself an Epson 7 Series laser projector. I paid $240. For mine on eBay. It has 2,000 hours on it. It's good for 20. That means I'm good for the next two years. I ain't got to worry about whether the lights is on. Whether I got sunlight. If this doesn't make you run out and get this screen in a, a 7 Series Epson projector, I don't know what will. But if you want to keep looking at that and pretending you see black, you want to keep pretending that you see black, knock yourself out. But this is the best screen all around that I've seen. Or you can pretend you see black and play with the settings and try and make it do something. Yeah, I turn the contrast down and I'm going to turn it. Okay, go ahead. Knock yourself out. Knock yourself out. Where the black at? Where the black? It's right there. Look at the pretty dove. 
Look at him up here. Where's the black? He pretty up here too. Where's the black? It's right there. The Yon Dude Screen. Off of Amazon.com. Link will be in the description, ladies and gentlemen. Minister Brother Derek, I'm out. Peace, everybody.